So maybe you're starting a new business or you're doing a refresh of an existing one and you're wondering, how do I choose a color palette for my brand? Well, color is one of the foundational building blocks of your brand, but choosing the wrong colors can make your website look uninspiring or forgettable. And on the other hand, using too many colors or a ton of bold colors can make it look a little tacky and overwhelming. So how do you pick a combination of colors that represents your personality and your business effectively without spending too much time on this? In this video, I am going over three really cool and powerful tools to come up with your brand colors. And you can access all of this inside the free version of Canva. Here we go. Maureen here from thecreativeimpact.com, where I help creative entrepreneurs, coaches, and bloggers with strategic show up website design, templates, and business trainings so that they can stand out, sell more, and stress way less about the design and tech in their business. If this sounds like information that you're interested in, then hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any of the videos I post on this channel each and every week. Now, let's talk about color. While color is only one of the elements that makes up your brand, it's a really powerful one. So you wanna choose colors that you resonate with, but then also complement each other for a cohesive look. Having cohesive branding across your website, your sales pages, your social media, wherever you're showing up online is super important. It sets the tone for your business and it's really the first impression for potential customers. So let's head on over to Canva and dive into some of their amazing tools that will help you find a color palette that works for your brand. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is type in canva.com forward slash colors. Now, if you're already on the Canva site like I am here, just go up to your browser and add forward slash colors to the end of that URL. And then within here, you're gonna land on a page that has the perfect tools and resources for picking your color palette. So we have a color palette generator, color palette ideas, a color wheel, and color meanings. Now the color meanings I'm not really getting into. This is kind of neat, and I will also leave some links below for some color psychology. But you can click on any of these colors, and it does like a really deep dive into the color, like everything you could ever want to know about the color, and just a little bit more about the hex codes and, you know, what the color stands for. So that is one place you can start. It's not somewhere that I think you should spend too much time in. I do have, uh, I have a link here to five steps to choosing the right colors for the brand that talks a lot about um, different moods and perceptions with different colors. Like for example, red is associated with danger, excitement, energy, what pink evokes, things like that. So I will put a link to this below as well. This is also a Canva article, but for right now, I want to focus on these three right here, the color palette generator, color palette ideas, and color wheel. All right, so let's start with the color palette generator. And this is such a cool tool because it allows you to pull colors from a photo. So if you have a find a photo on Pinterest that you just love the colors or you have taken a photo that you really would love to get the color codes from that photo, what this tool does is it will pull those colors from your photo. So you can try a demo image by clicking here and you just see like from here, it's gonna pull these different colors and it's gonna give you the hex code color right below it. You're gonna see the name as well as this code. And this code is used in Canva when um, you're picking colors. It can also be used on your website. Like this is the hex code that's gonna be used online. You can cl keep clicking this if you want to browse, but you can also upload an image. So again, if you find something on Pinterest or you have a picture that you want to pull the colors from, you can just go to upload an image and we'll just we'll pull this one from mine right now. This little tropical beach, isn't that beautiful? The colors. And then here's the colors it has pulled from it. It's pulling that like dark bluish green from probably the water, maybe the sky, the browns from the sand. And then here's your colors. The, code, the names and the codes right below. So this is a great way to really get some inspiration. 
So if you have some photos that you just love the colors in them, this is such a powerful tool that you can use to pull colors from and create your color palette. Now let's say you don't have any ideas of what colors you like and you're just looking for some inspiration. Where do you go from there? So let's go back to that other menu. And the second tool on this page is called Color Palette Ideas. When you click on this, it's just gonna bring up all different color palettes that you can either just browse through for inspiration. I mean, there's hundreds of pages of this, so you can do it that way. Or you can type in a specific color theme or keyword up here to pull in the colors. So for example, say I know that I really like blue and I think it would be a great color in my palette. I could just type in blue and it's gonna pull up all different blue color palettes for me. Like how amazing is that, right? Or we could even put in, let's put in a keyword. How about, let's do funky. Let's see what that brings up. Okay, there's one here, cool. It's actually called cool, funky flavor. All right, so we could do it like that. Or maybe theme, let's try, what if we typed in beach? Okay, and this brings up all different beachy colors, like more pastels and things like that. So a few different things you can do. You can just explore the palettes by scrolling through. You can type in a color, a theme, a keyword. If you click this link that says explore colors, that's going to take you back to that color meanings section where you can dive a little bit deeper into different meanings of colors. Okay, and lastly, let's go back to our menu. And the third tool that you have free access to within Canva is the color wheel. This is a really cool interactive tool. So say you found a color you really liked when you popped in a photo and you pulled out that hex code, or maybe you found one when you were scrolling through the different color palettes and you have a color that you really want, you can put the hex code here, or you can just use this little drag circle thing to pick a color that really appeals to you. And then it, it automates a color combination for you. So below here in number two, you can see right now, this, this is our color. This is a complementary color it chose for us with the hex codes. Now there are a number of different color combinations you can make. You have monochromatic, um, analogous. These words are hard to pronounce, triadic. So as you go down, you can see these complementary colors. And if you're not sure what this means on the left-hand side here, it tells you. So here's the information about complementary colors, monochromatic, anal analogous. I'm probably butchering that name, but those are colors that are side by side on the wheel and so on. So you can choose how you want to um, get your combination here, depending on whatever color you pick. And you can do a new one, just slide it and you can you know, see how this works with all the different colors. So you can really play around with this. Now, once you find two colors that you like in here, what you can do is then come down and you can go from here and create a graphic that'll open up a whole new window where it'll pull up graphics uh, templates with those colors. Uh, you can also export the color palette. Like there's so many different options that you can make within Canva. So just to refresh, to get to this page, you go to canva.com forward slash colors. You don't even need to be logged in to use this. If you do want to sign up, I have a link for a free trial to the pro version in the show notes below. I will also leave a link to this page as well as a couple links that go over more color meaning and the emotions that certain colors invoke. That's it for today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and that I answered your question of how do I choose a color palette for my brand? Please like this video if you liked it. And once you decide on your brand colors, make sure to check out my upcoming videos on how to add your brand colors to your show it website template, as well as how to add your colors to your brand kit in Canva so that your website and everything that you create uses the same cohesive color palette. Okay, guys, keep making your creative impact in the world, and I'll see you next time.